The Pirate Hunter The True Story of Captain Kidd Part 1 By Richard Zacks Narrated by Michael Pritchard Prologue In a cold jail cell in Boston, in Massachusetts Bay Colony, on November 16, 1699, a weather-beaten man with hard, scarred features unbuttoned his trousers. Two men stood nearby. One wore a skullcap. The prisoner, tanned on his face and arms only, lifted his shirt-tail, exposing himself. Back then men didn't wear underwear per se, but rather tucked long shirts afore and behind, hammocking their genitals. When James Gilliam lifted his penis to view— the two observers caught a whiff of the man's recent recreation. The night before, as the governor later quaintly put it in a letter to the Board of Trade, Gilliam had been treating two young women some few miles off in the country. Colonial authorities accused him of being a member of the crew of Captain Kidd, then the most notorious pirate in the nascent British Empire and of hiding his treasure on Gardner's Island alongside Kidd's ample hoard. Two witnesses, in addition, identified Gilliam as the pirate who earlier in his career slit the throat of an English East India Company captain and stole his ship. Despite the growing body of evidence and accusation, Gilliam absolutely denied everything, right down to his name, saying he was Samson Marshall, a respectable merchant, he claimed it was all a case of mistaken identity. But the witnesses added a detail that Governor Bellamont thought might hang the scoundrel. They said they had heard that Gilliam had been captured years earlier by the Moors on the coast of India, and forcibly circumcised. 